How you doing guys and gals? Oh, my character is thirsty. Uh, how you doing guys and gals? Welcome to the channel. My name is Callum X. As per usual, we're here on Grounded. And today I'm going to be looking at five things which I think as very small little tweaks would really improve the game here on Grounded. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, if you find it useful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for more. And uh, yeah, don't forget to join us on Twitch as well. Link for that's in the description. So the first thing and the reason that this video starts at night time uh, that I would, or that I think would be a really, 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 really cool feature that would be added would be automatic lights. The reason for this is, as you can see, like, you know, if you want to be running around your base at night, you need quite a few lights. I've got them sort of dotted all around, all around here. So, as you can see, we've got lights everywhere, but they do increase the, uh, the frame drops. So you get more frame drops with the more lights that you have on. So, automatic lights would obviously mean that if you know it, it gets to daytime the lights turn off and you, you get your frames back so that's that's the first feature i would like all right the second simple feature which i would like to see added to the game is being able to transfer a stack so for example i have ant eggs here i've got 10 of them i cannot transfer that entire stack without dragging it now on mouse and keyboard this isn't too bad but if you're on controller this is gonna be a pain whereas you can just you know you can transfer one at a time like so but what i would like to see is like maybe press t on your keyboard and it transfers the entire stack maybe have another a keybind on controller to do the same thing i think that would be really really helpful all right so third on my list is building clipping now there is already slight building clipping especially with like the foundations your um your scaffolding and your clay foundations you can you can clip however what i would like to see is being able to clip walls slightly better now i don't i'm not saying like you know put put a a thing completely inside of inside a rock that's silly but for example to be able to make this a nice smooth wall just here i'd love to be able to put that there uh instead of having to kind of you know it stops there building clipping i know is a thing uh, but i would just like to see that added as a feature it's not like it's a pvp game we're not going to be it's not going to be affecting anyone else it's just going to make builds a lot cleaner so that's my number three all right number four sees us back inside and back with my storage boxes and number four i would like to be able to add text labels to the boxes now although these these uh the icons the images and the ability to change their colors is really cool i'd like to be able to just add a small little text thing that maybe says acorns something you know just being able to add a little bit of text just to make it that little bit more simple to find things when perhaps things begin to get really really crazy with loads and loads and loads of storage later on and last of all number five on this very short and simple list is despawning of items now you know you kill a weevil for example i've obviously killed a weevil here pick that up now but if you don't have enough space in your inventory stuff just stays on the floor or if you don't want it it just stays on the floor unless you pick it up and you physically trash that stack this i reckon i don't know for a fact but probably over time especially if you've really really been playing a lot of the game is going to i would have thought add some lag to it if not just just make it you know super messy if i head back to the mystery machine now for example i know for a fact that <laughs> i started there and it's very messy there there's loads of grass stems and random bits of stuff just dotted everywhere that doesn't despawn i would very very much like and there's a clover leaf right there like, i would very very much like to have some sort of timer now i don't mean like you know this is a single player game this isn't a giant server based game so it doesn't need to be really quick but maybe three four in-game days and and stuff starts to despawn just to kind of declutter the world that would be amazing in fact the, the main thing that i've noticed this on is dandelion tufts you know you knock a dandelion down to get the weed stems as you can see i've been using a lot of weed stems to build my house and the you know the dandelion tufts themselves for each dandelion is what is this five four four five six dandelion tufts that it drops in the world and they just stay there <laughs> like you know if you run around my map right now and probably in yours as well there's just gonna be dandelion tufts absolutely everywhere and because they are not stackable in stacks of 10 they're only stacks in stacks of one you know it's very tricky to go around and just pick them all up and trash them it takes time and it's time that you want to be doing other things so that is my five little tweaks that i would like to see put into the game just to kind of 
improve the gameplay a little bit make things a little bit easier a little bit cleaner let me know in the comments what you think if you've got any ideas yourself or if you think you know any of my ideas are bad that's that's perfectly acceptable too and of course don't forget to join me on twitch where we've been playing grounded together a lot i will speak to you guys in the next video take care stay safe stay small don't get eaten by wolf spiders i'll speak to you soon Bye bye